What is up? I'm doing this video for the, uh, for everyone, but mainly the technical community, because most of y'all don't even know this shit, it's another one of these technical scams going on, so I'm going to open up the video and tell you the summary of the video, so you don't have to watch the whole video, and the summary of the video is Dollar Tree USB-C cables do seem to have the 56k resistor. Now that could vary from cable to cable or production run to production run. As you can see, we have <coughs> we have this one and we have this one. I believe this is the older one and these are the newer ones. They're different quality. The easiest way to see. If that of the package is that's longer and it has the two holes and it has that one. But it does seem that 56k resistor, which you need on your USB C cable, uh, or it will destroy your product. And uh, I mean, it, this is a, I'm trying not to make this into like a you know, a 10 year long political video where I discuss how the criminal corporations are criminals and the government works with them and all that and shit. So I'll just try to keep it limited here. Um, people have been asking for Benson Luang. Leong. I don't know how to pronounce the last name right, but you guys, if you guys are looking for this video and you find out that I'm the only one posting this information, then uh, there's a good chance that you know who Benson is, and Benson used to do this stuff. So Benson is not doing this stuff right now. Uh, he's actually kind of back to talking, but he's not doing any of this. Fucking, so uh, I decided I'd do it for you guys. And um, I've, I've seen many of you offer cash to people to test cables, you know, to Benson to test cables for you. And uh, obviously, you know, it's not exactly cheap to... I mean, even using cheap hardware and all this stuff. So, I mean, if you ever want to give me a couple bucks, uh, you know, for any of the work I do, uh, uh, envelope, a uh, secure envelope with, you know, protection in it to hide shit is the best way to send it for 711 Arthur Court. You can send it to my, to my friend's house, uh, Four seven one one Arthur Court, Columbus, Ohio four three two two zero. And uh, my name, obviously, the channel's name Sean Jones. They'll know who that mail goes to if it goes to me. I mean, you can always fucking give me bucks to replace some shit. I do have to spend a lot of money with all the shit I've done. It's taken a lot of money. And the more money I have, the more work I do. And I'm not like necessarily begging for money here. I'm just. Uh, Really thinking about that $5,000 that it cost to run for president, and I'm going to go into major debt once I pay that, and I suppose I'll just be completely swept under the rug, even though they'll cover anyone. The media has a hard time covering me, so, you know, these cables do seem to have your 56k resistor. I'm about to show you this. So let's get the show on the road here. Okay, I'm going to take a second to get this set up, possibly, because it's so tiny and I'm so shaky. So we're going to start here. We got the meter set on 200K resistance. Got your cables in the right positions here for uh, resistance. You, know, you get the resistance symbol, that's what we're looking for right here. And we got to go above the 56 we're looking for the 56k resistor, so we go above the 56. And so we go up to 200. And then we just probe each side of the resistor. And this is what we get. It's about 55.6 when it settles. It's really hard for me to keep this held down. I'm I have way too much strength and shakiness, and it's just hard for me to hold it. See, as you can see, when I'm starting to get it right here, it uh, is stopping on the fucking 56. 
five six is about where they're staying. Okay, now that is these cables, the newer ish ones in the boxes, as opposed to these, which were the standards, and now all their products come in the box and said, so this is from one of those. And, um, put this in here. And better if I put it this way. So I'm put that in there. And get this test shown you just show you that the majority they do work properly. Or, well, I can't really say for the majority. I'm testing on two here, right? Two bucks is a lot to me, so fucking... Especially when I'm already in debt and trying to get that 5000 for fucking... Uh, fucking presidency. Supposedly there's a bunch of other bullshit I gotta do too, but fuck them. Uh, so, anyways, fucking... I, I just can't waste, like, tons of money on cables here. This one was harder to test, so I, it might take a second for me to find the spot. There we go. Rest on about 55.6. It's me moving, and like, I just shake. Like, my friends told me once, that's an Italian thing. I say, it's because I'm a meth addict. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done meth since I was a baby, and the doctors sold it to me. It's rid of it. Fucking okay, so as you see, you know, you got that 56. You got that 56 on both of them. Always make sure to turn that off because you're gonna kill the battery every single freaking time. If you don't, double, triple, quadruple check that. Or better yet, get a fucking meter that turns itself off. Get a meter that uh, also can't easily be turned on because just throwing it in the back does it. Okay, so what we came up here with is they do seem to be valid you know we're talking about the dollar tree here again you know there's all sorts of crap the dollar tree sells and uh we all know how that turns out most of the time right about 50 percent of the time that's a it's a bad gamble but for a dollar item sometimes things are worth fine in this case we have found that it does seem to work very well I'm getting the same, the thousand percent uh, accurate test because it's not professional, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, there's other methods where I'm not shaking and it won't move around, probably a little more secure. And then there's a chance that another, you know, run of these products might be bad. You know, something might be bad, whatever. Freaking, um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, any run could be bad. We're dealing with the Dollar Tree, obviously, so we're scared as fuck of this. When we're testing, you know, we're putting the a thousand dollar item in the hands of the Dollar Tree. You just like mind blown. Most of you probably don't. And most of the people on my channel, I assume you guys don't know what I'm even talking about here. Uh, but this is done. Mostly because this is something people have been asking for all over the web for a long time. And I just, I didn't get it done early because they didn't have USB-C cables here in the city at the Dollar Tree. So I couldn't do it. But apparently this works. And uh, shit works real good. I mean, sometimes. It, see, the reason why you gotta buy the Dollar Tree ones, it's not because they're the strongest. Like, although this... This older model was like pretty freaking strong there in, in important ways. So this one doesn't seem too bad, but um, you know they all seem cheap in the end. You know they're all gonna break right right here, like uh, from bending. You know you drop the phone and it's swinging from the cable, and yeah, the, that drop causes it to freaking bend. Almost every time. 
So that's why you get the Dollar Tree cables, because it's not worth it anyways for a $10 cable that's going to break the first time you're going to drop it.